Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Anajil, of course, and welcome to another The Sweet Box. The kind of video where I take your questions and stuff like that and try to answer them as good as I can without reading Wikipedia or anything like that. So, this is basically based, as usual, on my knowledge and on my opinion, so this does not reflect any other people, really. <laughs> of course, you might think the same thing as me, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> and also my very limited knowledge about... I basically know a little little bit about everything, I would say. I'm not really a specialist at anything, so don't like take my word for it. But more see this as an entertaining way to see how very little I know and see what kinds of weird opinions I got. <laughs> and the game in the background is Counter-Strike GO! Oh, fuck me, I should never have bought this. Oh my god. Last night, uh, basically the beta released for it, if you pre-order the game for like 12 euros, fucking cheap. You know what I ended up doing? I ended up playing from 12 o'clock Swedish time to 5 o'clock Swedish time in the morning. Five hours in a row without stopping. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I still kind of suck because I haven't played Counter-Strike in over four years. Oh god, it feels horrible. <laughs> I was actually good. I was ki kind of awesome. No, not awesome, but I, I was more than decent when I played this. But anyways, fuck that. Uh, if you want to know more about it, you can always go on Steam and check it out. Uh, so, let's start up with the very first question. I think I have like five questions today because there, I picked a few short ones, actually. So, first question. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hey, Anders. I've been a subscriber for a very long time now, and I never really thought I would write to you someday. The reason I'm writing now is because I have switched from console to PC, and there is no point in asking you console question. That's right, because I, I pretty much made, made my point clear on consoles, or at least the current model consoles. I recently purchased a gaming PC. The thing is, though, it's a notebook, smiley face. <laughs> What do you think about gaming notebooks? I kind of haven't gotten, uh, I kind of haven't got the space for a desktop at the moment and also need a portable laptop for school and stuff. So I think uh, what I went for, uh, so this is what I went for. I know, of course, a laptop will never be as powerful as a desktop PC, but newer top-of-the-line mobile graphic cards have the power of NVIDIA GTX 580, so better than your current PC, Mike. I'm actually gonna correct you just right there. A, a real GTX 580 is actually quite a lot better than my GTX 570, but uh, a laptop graphic card is, is basically a slim down version and it it just isn't as fast it might be named that but it it probably only is as powerful as mine or just a little bit lower actually because if they would make it as powerful as a 580 i think a 580 actually uses up oh god what is it like 120 watts or something like that and and i mean that, that doesn't say you that that doesn't tell you much if, if you if you aren't like a certified electrician like myself but that's a hell of a lot of power that that's a lot of power and that that's basically like more than than most batteries in laptops can actually handle and put out so basically you have to slim down the graphics cards you have to have have a power sheep processors and stuff like that so they might be named i7 the processors and the graphic card might be named the same as in a desktop but they're they're never as powerful and they're always twice as expensive as well <laughs> uh, but um I, i'm no big fan of, of uh, of portable uh, gaming PCs, basically laptops that, that are gaming PCs or supposed to be gaming PCs because they're usually extremely, extremely expensive, usually twice as expensive as a, as a desktop with the same kind of processing power and, and stuff like that, basically. And uh, that, that's, that's just never good in, in any way, so to say, if you, if you know what I mean, because you, you want to get as much, much bang for your buck, as you say. But then again, there's always the fact of you not having enough room, so that's exactly what you need. You need a small laptop. I mean, for me, it's kind of silly to, to like think you can like play on the go, like 
like at school or, or in a train and stuff like that because you can't really play any games like that at least not you, you can't play battlefield like that or something like that multiplayer might some single player games but i mean you can't really control stuff like you do with a mouse at a desk and stuff like that but i can really understand it if you only bought it to to be used as, as for schoolwork at school and for gaming at home because at home you can plug it into your socket and have unlimited power and at home you can also use a mouse and a real keyboard if you want to so so that's more understandable without a doubt without a question out of doubt <laughs> uh, but but overall i think i think they're they're not very good but it, it's it mostly comes down to what you need as a person and your personal opinion about stuff uh, but Gaming laptops are usually very expensive and have limited fields of use, so to say. <laughs> and I think that's about it. I don't really know what else to say, to be honest. So let's jump to the second question. Hello, Anders. I I start off to start off. I love your videos. I think you're you're pretty beast. But anyways, I'm new to YouTube and I don't really know where to start off. And was wondering how to start off as a commentator. Uh, if you have any tips, that would uh, be that would be beast. Thanks, James. <laughs> I'm guessing you're American, James, because <laughs> I actually had to change a few words so they made sense for me. Uh, but but beast, I I do know it was like you and with just you and stuff like that. Anyways. Uh, God, uh, this is kind of hard. I mean, as, as usual, I'm going to be really, really honest with you guys. Some people might not like what I say and stuff like that, but, but th this is just how YouTube works, and I'm just telling you the truth, and to, so you don't waste your time, basically. And, and this doesn't only go for you, James, but, but for anyone out there wanting to do some, some videos, so to say. Uh, people on YouTube are very, very, very picky. I mean... Even you guys, my subscribers, you guys won't even watch all the stuff I do, even though I upload in 720p with a beast mic and, and spend hours on editing and rendering videos and stuff like that. And the thing is that, like, no one is going to want to watch your videos, for example, if, if you're a kid, don't, don't get me wrong, but kids usually don't want to watch kids, and grown-ups never want to watch kids' videos, unless it's like a... A dad who, who films his eight-year-old or five-year-old or baby or something like that because that's cute if you're like eight or nine or twelve or thirteen fourteen fifteen uh, around fifteen th then you can start to like do commentary I would say uh, because then you kind of stand a chance because your voice won't be like oh like this and stuff you won't sound like a baby uh, <laughs> Uh, but because that, that's just, and I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I don't say this to be mean. I, I just, I, I'm just realistic, so to say. I'm just saying it like it is. And yeah, if you're if you're under 15, don't even try to do commentary because it, it probably won't work. Uh, you you probably just will be disappointed. Of course, you can always try, but it probably won't be worth your time, so to say. And if you want to do videos to make money, it's also not worth your time because uh, you have to get several thousand views just to make one dollar uh, I can't exactly say how many views you need to get to get one dollar and stuff like that because that's in my contract I can't tell you exactly what I make and what you would make and stuff like that because I, I don't really know either uh, but if, if you want to do videos just because of the money then you don't do it because you're you're gonna end up spending thousands of hours before you even make one hundred dollars, <laughs> and you can you you can work at McDonald's for for like ten hours and make a hundred bucks. So yeah, why spend thousands of hours doing it when you can do ten hours basically? <laughs> so yeah, that that's kind of how it is. And uh, and make sure audio and video quality is good because no one wants to watch uh, a crappy video, so to say. Especially not now. Like like a year or two ago when I started, seven uh, twenty p was was like really cool. Not everyone was actually doing it yet then. Now everyone uploads videos in seven twenty p, and if you don't. Uh, people are gonna think 
there's something wrong with you or your videos and, and they won't want to watch them and stuff like that and and the audio need to be good as well you can't have a, a mic that sounds like this like scratchy scratchy make scratch scratch and it's just a lot harder now it's so much more competition so it's very very hard so if you're gonna try it try it for fun and if you really want to succeed don't have any like grand desi desires like being rich or being super popular because the chance you're gonna get super popular is about as big as as you winning the lottery basically it's very very little <laughs> sadly uh, but yeah that's enough of that Let, let's let's check out the third question i think before i ramble on forever hello anders i'm a long time subscriber from back when you first started making minecraft videos hello there uh, i was just wondering what your uh, first car and what is your favorite car now from jacob in the americas or in the us of a uh, i don't have a car i don't even have a driver's license <laughs> i haven't actually been able to afford that yet uh, and i don't actually really need a car either to be honest because my brother has a car and he basically drives me wherever i need to go kind of embarrassing that a 24 year old doesn't have a uh, driver's license or a car but i mean people can think what they think if i don't have a car why should they judge me worse for that than I mean, they should judge me if I'm a decent person or not, and if they don't, I don't need to hang around those kinds of people if I'm gonna be totally honest, so to say. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, we established I've never had a car and I don't have a car, but my favorite kinds of cars are actually American muscle cars. I mean, Dodge, a Dodge Viper, uh, I mean, a, a 69 Mustang with a with a big block like V8 six liter engine. I mean, oh god, I mean, just the sound of the engine is like. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a Harley Davidson, I don't know. Copyrighted sound effects by Anders L, 2012. Don't use it. <laughs> uh, no, but, but I love American muscle cars. I mean, big, big engines that just guzzle gas and, and like makes environmentalists like crap their pants when you drive by and, and like wish you were dead because you're using up as much gas as like 10, 10 small cars would do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think we can jump to the fourth question right here. Hey Anders, I'm a Mark. I'm 16 and I'm from Scotland. I've uh, I haven't been subscribed to you for for long uh, for long, but I fe fell in love with you with you in a completely heterosexual <laughs> way. Maybe <laughs> in your first ultra hardcore video, uh, and I'm now a huge fan of your videos. Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, I've been bullied for years because uh, of the way I look, kind of ugly. Oh, that's that's sad that even that you say you kind of look ugly. Uh, you probably aren't. Trust me, there's tons of ugly people out there that I promise look way worse than you no matter how ugly you are no that that's off the topic <laughs> and because of this i don't have many friends and i i'm scared to talk to people because because uh, they laugh at me and uh, let's see now fucking the text disappeared what do you think is the best way of dealing with things like bullying i hope uh i i hope i hope i hope I hope you can find time to answer my question. Mark Anderson, aka Crimson MM Crimson 5M, aka the guy who likes cake and coke to drink, not the kind you sniff, aka me. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, I think I would like you. Uh, you're a funny dude. <laughs> Uh, I gotta say, I was kind of the same way. I mean, I'm still kind of the same way. More people like me now as a, as a grown-up, but I was kind of awkward as a kid. I mean, I was I was not a beautiful kid, so to say, of course, my mom always said, Oh, Anders, you're so beautiful. I love you. <laughs> and stuff like that, basically, because that, that's, that's your mom's job, basically. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Bullying is kind of hard to deal with as a kid. There's, there's not really much you can do. I mean, if it goes way over the limit, like for what regular bullying is, I mean, then you gotta like talk to parents and grown-ups and stuff like that. Because I mean, th th there's one kind of bullying like 
when when they maybe call you a, a bad name once in a while but if it is like every day like systematic like pushing you down and like making you feel like you want to kill yourself and stuff like that then then it's kind of time to like talk to grown-ups and stuff like that because it, it it's just gonna end badly for you and everyone else involved so <clears throat> It's it's just weird, and I gotta say I, I was kind of like the same way as a kid. Uh, I, I I don't know if I was like super ugly or anything like that, but I I don't think I was like beautiful. I, I still don't think I'm very beautiful. I think I look like a man, like a man should look like, not some some fancy pants pussy. I look like a man. I got big beard, got a little bit of a stomach, got big muscles, like that kind of stuff. I look like a man. <laughs> And uh, that's usually what happens when you're a bit fat and bullied as a kid. You you usually grow up and become a lot bigger. And the the guys who bullied you a few years ago, they're not gonna say much because they're afraid you're gonna fucking sit on their face and like make them wish they never was born and shit like that. <laughs> and when it comes to the friends, uh, real life personal experience, it's better to have few very good friends than many kind of good friends, trust me on that one. So it's better to have just two or one friend that's really good than a couple that are like, nah. But actually, that's it. Uh, I ran out of footage, so I can't really talk much more. So as usual, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.